Hey everybody, this is Minion Soldier and this is the Piracy Show. And uh, <laughs> yesterday's show was kind of a doozy, wasn't it? <laughs> but let's move on. So yesterday's show was talking about it and one of the things that I had talked about was of course that this year I'm out of the production pipeline. This year I'm out. I'm free. Um, and I'm very much looking forward to that. I am very excited by that idea. And, you know, when we look back at the past, when we look at, say, 2014 or 2015, when people used to make, you know, joke posts about <laughs> Star Citizen isn't even going to be done till like, 2018, and we, and we would all laugh. <laughs> yeah. Um, but imagine if we did hit that date. Imagine if we were here now. Imagine if the game and all of its supporting mechanics were in the servers were stable things were good you know ships were still you know moving along at the pace that they're moving along now what do you have right now that's flyable how much money could you conceivably be making with the ships that you currently own think about that for a second think about most of the games that you play how long does it really take you to kind of get your character squared away get your ship get your whatever set up so that you can do the things that you want to do in that game how long does it really take you i mean if you actually put the work in if you enjoy the game that you're playing and you really want to get into it you know and your your balls to the wall how long does it really take you to kind of hit the ground running to make your money and to really be in a solid position to put, you know, to do whatever you want to do in that game? How long does it really take you? And I think for most people, the answer is it doesn't really take that long. Now, of course, some people, when a game launches, when a launch date comes out, that's usually when they mysteriously develop a disease and they can't go into work for a week. It's like, I can't show up right now. I have uh, um, St. Vitus's dance. So yeah, I'm contagious. I, I, I got to stay home for the next week. I, I can, if you need me, just email me and I'll let you know what I think. But yeah, I, I can't come into the office right now. <laughs> Even if you don't factor in launch day disease, probably most of you have at least a freelancer, a caterpillar, some kind of ship right now in game that you can start making money with today. I think about like maybe you got a couple extra game packages stuff like that so you got extra uec coming your way maybe twenty thousand alpha u or uec thirty thousand whatever you've got that even if you only had a caterpillar how long before you would really start making the money how long before you would really start making some serious cash in game the ships that are off on the distant horizon that you may or may not see for ages, they start to become a little bit less important because by the time they get in game, you'll probably already have the money to buy them in the game, right? Think about the, like the ships that you own right now that are flyable. That piece of your infrastructure, for those of you that own multiple ships, think about that that kind of metaphorical vehicle to carry your character forward if today was launch day and let's say let's say the game right now was perfectly stable running beautifully today was launch day sure some game mechanics are missing but of the ships that you have how much money could you really be making in the pu if the game were running perfectly smoothly you know mwah, perfect how much money could you really be making playing the game right now with the ships that you have versus the ships that are off on the distant horizon and you're not really sure when they're going to show up. Now, launch day itself could easily be more than a year away. I think we can agree on that, right? W people can speculate all they want, but I think a year is kind of a safe window. There's a lot of great ships that are going to get finished this year. I mean, I believe that the entire Freelancer series is due to be completed this year as well. And who knows? I mean, we might see the Cutlass Blue and the Cutlass Red finish this year as well. I mean, yeah, there are, I mean, there are certain ships that are just never going to be built. But 
there's a lot of really good ships that are going to get finished this year. You know, often one of the questions that I hear a lot, you know, not just directed towards me, but on the forums, on Spectrum, all of that, and it's, you know, should I sell everything I have to buy this one big ship, to buy this one big, ultra amazing, super cool ship that just got concept sold yesterday? And like my reaction to that is, what do you have right now? And like, I know I've said this before, but it's like that ship, you know, that ship there, the Herald, that's going to be a good ship. That's going to be a great ship. That's going to be a fun ship, I, I feel. The Cutlass is a good ship. The Freelancer, eh, I mean, it's got, some, it's got some visibility issues. I know we spend a lot of time on the Cutlass, but the Freelancer definitely has them. But the Freelancer is still a good ship. Um, what do you have right now? That's flyable. I mean, do you really think that you could pull a lot of enjoyment out of that ship right now? That's flyable. Could you have a lot of fun? Can you not just even make credits, but could you enjoy yourself? Which is, in the end, the most important thing. Flying that ship and just say, you know what? That distant horizon ship, I'm going to keep this one ship because this ship is good. And I think that I can have a lot of fun with this ship. And that distant horizon ship, it happens when it happens. And I'm not going to worry too much about it. Do you have a ship like that? Make sure that you keep a ship like that. Now, you might look at your hangar on the RSI website from time to time, and you might see all the ships that are in there. And you might look at your buyback history and say, oh, yeah, I remember when I bought that Caterpillar, and I was like, that's going to be my that's going to be my big daddy ship. Or uh, I, I'm, you might look back and say, oh, I remember when I bought that Cutlass Blue because I was going to do that thing with the Cutlass Blue. And I, you know, I had all these scenarios in my head that I dreamt about that. Oh, I'll use it to do this. I'll use it to do that. I'll use it to, to do that other thing. But if you like sit down and actually look at those and look at those ships that are now flyable that you once owned that maybe you don't even own anymore you can probably remember a lot of the reasons why you bought those ships and a lot of those basic systems that are going to be coming into play over the next year and a bit are probably a lot of the systems that those ships include. So you're probably going to see a lot of gameplay coming out of those ships that you know maybe no longer own. It might be worth thinking about to kind of look at that list of buyback ships and just say, you know, what is there that is deliverable within the next year if i go and i look at the roadmap what in that list is flyable and should have at least some of its systems if not all implemented before this time next year something that i can you know kind of getting back to basics getting back to when you were just a a new backer you know because i remember when i first backed into star citizen i watched this game i i kind of creeped on this game for a while and watched it from a distance and it wasn't until i think about march of 2014 that i finally bought the bullet and i bought i think i've told this story before i bought the cutlass black game package because i mean even then i was like is that the pirate ship i'm getting the pirate ship <laughs> but i still have that ship i mean i've i've melted it and repackaged it and now i have it with lti but i still have that cutlass black am i gonna sell it never never because it's a good solid ship and it's a you know it's going to be a good money maker i have uh, since added the caterpillar and there might be a, a surprise for the future <laughs> but um yeah I like I have solid ships that are good money makers. Are, are, do I look at a, say a C2 Hercules and think that oh, that could be useful? Sure. Do I look at an Endeavor and think hmm that could be interesting? Yeah, absolutely. But at its core, like I I now have the vehicles that could get me to that point, so that whenever that gets finished, I I won't have to worry about it anyway. Now, one of the other big things that you may want to think about is over the next year, beyond ships and beyond gameplay systems that are on the schedule and on the roadmap, one of the big things is server stability and client stability fixes. And that's always going to be an ongoing thing. Now, of course, I think it's, you know, 
It's easy to say, of course, yes, it is alpha, but the game does have some problems. I, I think that any reasonable person can say that there are certain things within the game that could use improvement. Like quantuming to grim hacks. But over the next year, we are supposed to see a lot of these improvements. And, you know, when you're kind of churning over your ships and, you know, recycling them to purchase the next big concept sale to, for the ship that's over the horizon and maybe more than a year away, if you're lucky, I think it's a good time to kind of sit back and think that over the next little while, Star Citizen may actually become a very playable and very enjoyable experience. Certainly it's interesting to play, it's interesting to kind of explore and see what's coming online, but by no means is it a playable game yet. It's the basic framework of one. But over the next year, you might find yourself in a place where even though maybe not everything counts and it is, it is not everything being recorded, it might become an enjoyable experience and so it might be a good time to kind of look at your hangar and say you know what i could go buy this concept ship but what do i have that i can enjoy right now it's kind of becoming more of a present thing and not so much a distance over the horizon thing and something worth thinking about anyways that's the show for today i hope you guys enjoyed it and thanks for watching Thank you, thank, you, thank you for watching. So, 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 so if you want to keep up with the latest and greatest in Star Citizen and Squadron 42's development, please follow us, please follow us, please follow us on our social media channels. See you soon.